this is Stampy, and welcome back to my Let's Play of LEGO Worlds. As you can see, I was able to, to find my way back to my farm. Um, I say my farm, my my pen and my gingerbread house, which I didn't even build. But uh, it still feels uh, nice to be back home. And as you can see, I was also able to bring back my friend, um, who... Doesn't look particularly happy here, but um, <laughs> I was able to, uh, yeah, I was able to retain it inside of this pen. So, uh, yeah, I couldn't keep a polar bear in here, uh, but apparently I can keep a massive dragon that can fly in here. So, um, yeah, it hasn't flown away yet. So I'm hoping that it is just going to stay inside of there. So let's, let's make it a little bit nicer in there, shall we? Should we see uh, what we can put down? Uh, just to make it a, a nicer place for a, a dragon to spend its time. Uh, let's put some... Uh, let's put down some mushrooms. I think this is going to be a big mushroom because this is an expensive one. There we go. A nice mushroom. I don't know whether dragons eat mushrooms, but I guess we can we can find out what it likes. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, we can put like some bones and stuff. And dragons like bones, don't they? That's a sort of evil dragony thing to, to like. So let's go <laughs> and uh, put down these bones here as well, just like that. And uh, what else can we put in? What other uh, features just to make this pen look a little bit nicer? If I was a dragon, I would want to have a barbecue. There we go. <laughs> so I can go and uh, which way do I want to face it? It needs to be this way, I think. So yeah, we can go and put down a nice barbecue down there uh, just in case the, uh, the dragon wants some hot food. Probably doesn't need a barbecue too much, seeing as it could just, you know like flame <laughs> everything but and um, there we go we can go and put that down there and let's go put down a um uh, a nice snowman in this corner over here as well there we go this is this is looking a little bit nicer here's a place that a dragon could call a home so let's just go and oh no 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 dragon what was it is it the mushroom is it the mushroom you didn't like do you not like the snowman what is it that made you want to leave <laughs> right if i just fly it I guess I can just fly it and put it straight back in the pen again. There we go. That's what you get for trying to escape. So yeah, definitely uh, the pen is not... Uh, it's not dragon proof yet. That's the uh, the thing that I've, I've found out already. Uh, but yeah, let's not worry about that too much. Let's go and uh, try and make uh, some more additions. So I think that pens might not be the way to go. Uh, especially for some of these bigger animals. I think, uh, yeah, I might need to do some sort of buildings, maybe like a barn or something. And I have seen a barn before, so I think I might just be able to, to go and place one straight in. So is it going to be... Uh, there's the bricks, there are the sets, uh, where's... Uh, there are props. Uh, these are items... Where was it that I went where I could just build things? I can see the dragon <laughs> in the background just desperately trying to escape. So characters, creatures, vehicles, building bricks. Uh, was it in props then? Is this where I could get the, the whole buildings? I think it might be actually. Uh, so let's go and see if we can find a, a, a barn anywhere around here. Can you see a barn? It should be here because basically anything that you've kind of found or like walked close to, uh, you should be able to, to place down. But... I can't actually see a barn, and I don't seem to be able to scroll up uh, any higher than this. I know I can do it, because this is how I built the, the gingerbread house. Uh, so there's the sets as well. They're just the... Aha! Right, this is what I wanted. Uh, brick build. This is what I was after. So uh, I could do clouds and castles and all sorts of things here. So these are the uh, the much bigger things uh, by the looks of things. So uh, there's some towers and things I can do. Here's all the cake things. I don't seem to be able to actually put in an entire barn though. So that's a bit of a shame. Uh, there's a brick henge. Uh, a tower ruin I could put down. I could have a pyramid in my farm. I can put in a, a whole of trees around here i could kind of make a, a western style building and these are clouds and these are some volcanic spikes let's uh, let's put down one of these volcanic spikes then shall we and let's see how this looks oh it looks quite cool or maybe this is what the dragon would want maybe having a, a volcanic spike oh i know I could do a bunch of these spikes and kind of volcanic rocks and use this to try and kind of contain the the dragon so maybe if i put kind of a few of these around in a circle then this can be like the the dragony section uh, of the uh, of the the farm. That might be quite cool. And then I guess I just need to try and get some more normal farm animals. So rather than just polar bears and dragons, we could get like you know a sheep or a pig <laughs> or you know just normal animals that you are going to find in a farm. So if I kind of do, uh, so there's another one as well. So there's a small one as well I could do here. And I guess. I could set it. If I go to here, can I set it so they can... Uh, oh, I got flattened on. So I don't think I can kind of merge them through each other. But if I do like a few of these close by, then if I just try and find bricks that are the same colour, 
I could kind of just try and merge them all together. So if I place this one about uh, here and do a few of these and then I can just kind of build up the, the rest and uh, try and make it basically like a, like a walled off area. And then this can be where the uh, yeah where the the dragon is is going to live. It certainly seems a little bit more fitting than the the small pen uh, that I have already. Then again, it is it is staying inside for now. And can I kind of build them inside of each other? Because if I can, that would be way easier rather than uh, having to to place all of these blocks myself. Oh, it looks like I can. I can kind of merge them inside of each other. So this might be a, a better way uh, of building up. Even though this is way quicker uh, than building it myself, it still takes a while. It just looks so cool though, it looks so cool when you just see all the, the bricks merging together. So if I kind of do this, so you can see they're kind of going through each other. Uh, hopefully this is going to make a, like a big wall uh, that the, the dragon isn't going to, to be able to walk through. Looks like I made a, a little bit of a mess here. And look, if I go down, I can see through the ground, you can see all like these, these stone bricks. Oh, well, I guess they're all plastic anyway, but <laughs> the plastic that looks like stone bricks under the, the ground looks quite cool. And this is looking quite good. All right, let's see if we can go and actually start. Uh, doing some building. So what I might do is I might, oh, these are quite cool. Actually, I could do these, and then if I just paint them and make them like the same color as the rest, uh, hopefully it will still fit in quite well. So if I go and uh, place this one down here, uh, and then that way, yeah, if I try and just paint them, so it's gonna look a little bit weird now, but if I paint them kind of black and like dark gray, like these other ones are, uh, hopefully it will all kind of bend, uh, blend together. So I could do uh, another one here, and then I'm going to go and try and uh, build the, the rest uh, myself by hand. And then this can be my, my little dragon pen. This is more fitting for a dragon. If I was a dragon, this is where I'd like to live. Right, so let's go and actually try and uh, place some of these blocks myself then, shall we? So here are all the, the building blocks. Um, right, I guess I just need to... I need to start placing, so I might as well go and pick the right colour. I guess this kind of dark colour here, yep, this seems to be right. I guess I now just got to start placing them. I guess I should probably start off uh, by using some uh, some bigger bricks. Actually, what's this here? Drag select. I'm not entirely sure what, what this is uh, enabling me to, to do. Like, I assume there's got to be a way how you can select something that you've built and kind of copy it and, like, build it again. Maybe it's something to, to do along with, with that. But I actually have a, a no idea exactly what it does. So I guess if I get this, seems to be about uh, the biggest block I can do, like, of this shape. And so if I go and try and build, like, just a straight wall, then if I had, like, lots of other random blocks the whole way around it... Actually, no! I've got a way better idea of doing this. I know what I could do if I just lift the terrain up and then I can just sort of change the color of it. Uh, so flatten, uh, smooth, lower, raise terrain. Here we go. This is how we do it. If I make this really big, then if I kind of go, whoa, <laughs> you can see that how it kind of molds and shapes the blocks I placed already. If I kind of do this around the entire area and uh, then I can just go and paint it so it's all black, uh, then that should work well. And if I do it, kind of smaller along the top and uh, that is going to make more of a, a wall because I think if it's not uh, high enough uh, then I think that the uh, the dragon's just going to walk out just like he did in my other pen. <laughs> he seems though to be staying put. I think he's I think he started to, to make friends with the, the snowman so he's staying there. <laughs> right so if I just keep kind of building up around here then if I go and make it big again here and start building the whole way up around here. This is so cool. Okay sorry about that weird cut. The, the game did crash again. And uh, sadly, once again, I lost uh, a whole load of footage of what I've been doing. Uh, so let me just update you. Um, the dragon is now out the pen and uh, I built a, a new pen for it. So I carried on building up the walls and uh, I colored it all in. Uh, so it all looks like this, uh, this volcanic rock. And uh, what do you think? I think this looks pretty cool. Um, it's not very good at containing dragons is the one problem. And the big problem is the fact that its purpose is to contain dragons and it can't do that. But... I do think it looks cool, and so I'm going to uh, consider it as a win in that uh, area. It's probably the first thing I've built that does actually look pretty cool, so <laughs> I am happy about that. And so yeah, what basically I did was I went for a bit of a wander to try and find some, some more animals, and uh, I, it seems to be that the game crashes uh, whenever I'm kind of driving around quickly or loading in new areas. So I think, uh, for now at least, uh, while the, uh, the games are a little bit glitchy, I might kind of just stay in this area and uh, bring the, the animals to me uh, by basically spawning them in. So I know I said I didn't want to do this. I wanted to go and try and uh, capture the, the animals naturally. I don't think it's going to work yet. 
uh, until the, the game's been updated a little bit. So for now, uh, let me just go and uh, try and add in uh, a few other animals to this pen. So let's try and put in, let's put a, this can be the goat pen. Let's go and uh, try and spawn in a few goats. And when I mean a few goats, I mean uh, a lot of goats. So if I just go and <laughs> keep spawning them in, and then if I jump off them, I can immediately go and add uh, another one in. And uh, it's free, by the way. Like, I don't need to uh, to buy them. Like, once I've bought them once and, like, kind of unlocked them, whoop, <laughs> I can basically just keep bringing in uh, as many as I want. So let's go and uh, add in a, a whole bunch of these, these goats, shall we? And uh, hopefully this pen is going to be uh, enough to contain these goats. I don't believe that they're going to be able to, to jump over. Oh, look at this. Oh, look, it's springy. Yay, there's like springy rib bones. Yeah, <laughs> I've never seen a pirate jumping on something as ridiculous as this. Well, actually, goats like playing around on things like this. I could do like a like a goat play pen for them, couldn't I? Right, what what things could I do? I could do like I could build them like a tunnel. Should I build them like a little tunnel that they can run through, like a nice little colourful tunnel? Let's give that a go, shall we? So uh, I've got my my bricks here. This uh, should do. I might change the the colour. What will be uh, good here in this snowy area? Let's do a nice bright pink one, shall we? Uh, so let's go and uh, grab that again. And uh, I can go and spin it around. Actually, I'll do it like this. And then if I go along uh, like this... And then if I leave a, a gap of about, uh, I leave a gap of about three. So that that's probably one brick and then two and then three like this. And then if I go like that, and uh, I'm going to go now build up the, the sides a little bit. Uh, this can be a, a nice little tunnel uh, that they can run through. I can also add like kind of ramps on the side uh, so they can run up and climb on the, the top as well. They do look very playful, don't they? You can see them all <laughs> jumping around and spinning in circles. I think they've gone a little bit crazy, to be honest. I think I've got some some crazy goats, but they're the uh, the best kind of goats. And I'm not doing a very good job building here, am I? <laughs> Let's go and uh, get rid of these uh, these ones I put in the, the wrong place, shall we? If I can remember how to do that. Actually, I can just to undo can't I there we go and uh, that's uh, an easy way to uh, to go back a little bit right so let's go uh, back to, to building I'm still getting used to the controls as you can obviously see and uh, let's try and place them in the the right place a so one two three like that do you think this is tall enough Hmm, it might be a little bit close. I think they could just about fit in, uh, but it'd be a little bit close on their, their horns. We don't want their horns scratching on the, the roof. So let's go and uh, build along like this. And uh, now let's go and do the, the roof in, shall we? I guess I can do one of the, the big flat ones. I might try and do it the, the, the smooth ones. You know, these ones? I might try and build the, the roof out of these uh, because then that way... Ooh! Here we go. Ah, uh, this is good. I can, oh, I wish I kind of did it one thinner. Actually, I might just change it. If I just change that other wall, then we can just have one uh, nice big, uh, completely flat uh, area like this. So now, if I go and uh, if I go and get rid of these, um, yeah, I can basically just move these in a, a little bit uh, closer, uh, and then that way. Uh, I can just have this one big flat roof and then I can do kind of little ramps on the side as well and then they can go and climb up. Then again, they don't seem to be really running around the pen. They're kind of just stuck in one place to be honest, aren't they? Just spinning in circles. But oh well, whatever whatever they find fun. I'm not here to judge about my goat's activities. <laughs> I'm just here to, to look after them. Right, so let's go and make sure this is uh, lined up correctly then, shall we? So uh, I think that looks good about there. So now if I go like this, and uh, along here like that, and then just go up. You can see how there's a little blue arrow. Basically, that means that when I place the, the next block, it's going to go along in that way. So if I do it going up like this, it can build up, or I could do it like going horizontally and uh, go and build along the row like that. So I reckon that once you've played this game for a bit and you're really used to the controls, you could build very fast. But there we go. I built myself a little ramp. Actually, I need to extend uh, this side out here a little bit further if you don't mind uh, getting out the, the way go, or as I'm going to be kind of building through you. <laughs> well, didn't seem to mind. And there we go. This is part of the, the playpen. I built a, a little bit of a, a tunnel. So I was going to do uh, kind of ramps up the side as well. And there's not... Uh, really stairs in this game uh, but I guess I could kind of just do uh, my own stairs just with the the building blocks couldn't I so if I do um hmm which ones would be best for this then maybe just these square ones and let's do them a slightly different color as well let's go and do these ones uh, a darker purple shall we and I guess I can kind of just do uh if I start about uh here actually let, let's work out where the the middle is so this is the middle here so if I go and um uh, build uh, up like this 
And then if I kind of just build down either side, it's going to be like a, a nice little makeshift staircase. So if I build up like this and this and this, and then do the same on this side, uh, and then just keep going down until I go all the way down to the, the ground, uh, then that's going to be my staircase. And uh, we'll see whether any goats actually climb up it. I think there's a, a very small chance they're actually going to use this playpen. Okay, welcome back. Uh, sorry, the game once again crashed. Nothing I can do about it, I'm afraid. And uh, I didn't actually update too much since uh, what you last saw. I added like a, a trough and some bells of hay and things and uh, my lovely dog here. <laughs> but for some reason, since I've loaded up the game, all the goats suddenly seem really content. Uh, well, really non-content with where they are and trying to escape. You can see them all just trying to jump over the, the hedge. Oh, look! Mushrooms! You can bounce along mushrooms! Wait, one second, one second. I was uh, literally ending the, the video uh, when the, the game crashed, but I've just realised that the mushrooms are really bouncy. So if I put a bunch of mushrooms in a row, are you thinking what I'm thinking? I'm thinking that I could bounce along the mushrooms. It's not letting me place it here. It seems quite precise about where it lets you place them. Oh, I could stack them. It's just not letting me place it here either. Hmm, maybe I can't do them that close or something. Um, it seems like it won't let me place it, but then if I back out and then go to place it again, then it will let me place it for some reason. Is it going to let me place it? No, I kind of got to keep going in and out. That's probably a, a, another bug, but that's okay. If I kind of keep doing this, and then if I do this one on top, do you reckon that I've got any chance of being able to like bounce up like that? Uh, let's give it a go. Let, let's, let's give this a, a little bit of a test because I could maybe make some sort of mushroom assault course. <laughs> could be quite fun. Uh, let me just see whether I got any chance of being able to, to bounce along this. Right, here we go. Boy, oh, I immediately missed the first jump. Right, bouncy, 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 bouncy. <laughs> uh, you don't bounce very high. Maybe I should put down a, a whole bunch of uh, different items and see what lets you bounce high. Whoa! Oh, look at me go! Oh, look, you can! Oh, you've got to time it. If you bounce at just the right, uh, the right time, you can actually bounce really high. Right. Looks like I'm going to be making myself an assault course. <laughs> I should know it should be like an animal assault course. Oh, let me see. If I bounce on the goat, on the mushroom, am I going to go really high? Let me see if I can do it. Oh, I think I do. Look at that. i got to do that. It's going to be like a goat mushroom assault course. Well, just a goat and anything bouncy assault course. This is going to be fun. <laughs> oh, dear. Sadly, though, uh, we have just about uh, run out of time in uh, this episode here. I might have a, uh, a little break in between this episode and my next episode, uh, basically because the game keeps crashing so much, uh, it's quite hard to do the, the videos when a whole load of it goes missing. Uh, so yeah, hopefully uh, the game's going to be updated, or if you've been playing the game yourself and have got any recommendations for uh, things I should or shouldn't do uh, to yeah make sure it doesn't crash, then uh, yeah, please let me know in the comments. Uh, but yeah, sadly, that is the, the end of this episode here. Uh, so for now, I want to thank you all uh, very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye! that a dragon could call a home. So let's just go and, oh, no, 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 dragon. What was it? Is it the mushroom? Is it the mushroom you didn't like? Do you not like the snowman? What is it that made you want to leave? <laughs> right, if I just fly it, I guess I can just fly it and put it straight back in the pen again. There we go. That's what you get for trying to escape. So yeah, definitely uh, the pen is not, uh, it's not dragon proof yet. That's the uh, the thing that I've, I've found out already. Uh, but yeah, let's not worry about that too much. Let's go and Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome back to my Let's Play of LEGO Worlds. As you can see, I was able to, to find my way back to my farm. Um, I say my farm, my my pen and my gingerbread house, which I didn't even build. But uh, it still feels uh, nice to be back home. And as you can see, I was also able to bring back my friend, um, who... Doesn't look particularly happy here, but um, <laughs> I was able to, uh, yeah, I was able to retain it inside of this pen. So, uh, yeah, I couldn't keep a polar bear in here, uh, but apparently I can keep a massive dragon that can fly in here. So, um, yeah, it hasn't flown away yet. So I'm hoping uh, that it is just going to stay inside of there. So let's, let's make it a little bit nicer in there, shall we? Should we see uh, what we can put down? Uh, just to make it a, a nicer place for a, a dragon to spend its time. Uh, let's put some... Uh, let's put down some mushrooms. A barbecue. There we go. <laughs> so I can go and uh, which way do I want to face it? It needs to be this way, I think. So yeah, we can go and put down a nice barbecue down there uh, just in case the uh, the dragon wants some hot food. Probably doesn't need a barbecue too much seeing as it could just, you know, f like flame <laughs> everything. But um, there we go. We can go and put that down there and let's go put down a, um, 
uh, a nice snowman in this corner over here as well. There we go. This is this is looking a little bit nicer. Here's a place. I think this is going to be a big mushroom because this is an expensive one. There we go. A nice mushroom. I don't know whether dragons eat mushrooms, but I guess we can we can find out what it likes. Aha! Oh, we can put like some bones and stuff. And dragons like bones, don't they? That's a sort of evil dragony thing to to like. So let's go <laughs> and uh, put down these bones here as well, just like that. And uh, what else can we put in? What other uh, features just to make this pen look a little bit nicer? If I was a dragon, I would want to have 